Mount. Ariane Marès, très fort Ariane Marès qui envoie les siens en finale This week, our team, our national team, our players have been performing so well. First of all, I have to start with Rami Ben Spaini. He played really well against Bayern Munich on Wednesday. He scored two goals. He did the same thing the last time he met them. The first goal uh, was a really nice goal. Came from a good pass from his teammate. <laughs> New work could not stop him. The second goal was a penalty. Again, New work couldn't stop him who is internationally recognized as basically the best goalkeeper in the world. Buspaini is his living nightmare. The penalty, the way he did it, he did it a la Algerien. He tricked him. It was just pretty brilliant and he's a left back. He's a left back and he scores, which is pretty incredible. It's always amazing when our player it's like score against a team like that, Bayern Munich. It wasn't even a second team. Sane was there. Neuer was there. It's just incredible um, what Borussia and Gladbach was able to do. They humiliated them. It's a worldwide humiliation for Bayern after Gladbach beat them 5-0. Vinspaini this year is actually the third best goal scoring defender not only includes how many goals they scored but in the amount of games and it's a pretty good ratio Vince Payne has in 27 games got six goals for his team he surpasses Bremer in 10th place Chilwell in 9th place Crescito in 8th place I think that's how you pronounce his name Stones in 7th place Hakimi in 6th place, Faraoni in 5th place, in 4th place, Guerrero, and in 3rd place, Benspaini, as I said, and he's below Di Marco and Gossens. And that's pretty cool that we have a defender like this. Um, he, you know, was formed in Algeria and he's doing great in Europe. And I feel like maybe a bit of advice for Bayern, he should buy Benspaini, but... Uh, since, you know, Gladbach is beating you 5-0, I don't see the point of him going there anyway. But I'm super happy about this. He is my favorite player and it's just great. Now, other news I have to talk about is that Tal this week, well, obviously against Marseille, it was 1-1. But the game before that against Lyon, oh my goodness. They were losing 2-0 and then Atal came in in the 80th or 81st minute and changed the game completely. He came in, he scored. Then he provoked a penalty and the Lor scored. I don't really want to talk about the Lor anymore, but that's what happened. And after that, the third goal, it was a key pass from him. He was involved in every single goal and it's because of him that Nice beat Lyon and you know basically they're at the top really like the top of the table third or second place. I'm not sure exactly but one of those two and it's pretty inc incredible beating a team like Lyon. Nice is not necessarily ever really considered a big top team usually a mid-level team, but you know, they're growing and progressing and Budawi is in that team as well and he's been playing well, it's really amazing. Nasa this past week has been playing really well. Milan were winning 2-0 uh, and then Bologna tied with them two goals and then Benasa made them win again and then he gave an assist to Zlatan Ibrahimovic which made them beat Bologna 4-2. Zuruki also two, scored two goals this week with his team FC20. Amora scored. Uh, Gasha scored in Turkey. Though he's not called up yet, I'm sure he will be soon. It's just been a really great week. And Tahiya Jazair, you know, oh, and Benrahma qualify West Ham for the next round of the Carabao Cup. Unfortunately, he did eliminate Mahrez's his team, but still, at least, you know, one of our players in one of those sides did well. That's all I have to talk about, really. 
I'm just so happy that we're doing so good right before the World Cup qualifications. I'm so much more confident now because of how our players are doing. We just have an amazing team. And that's all I have to say. See you next time.